Welcome fellow Marvel Legends collectors, Solid Dave Snake here, kicking off my reviews for the Marvel Legends Captain America Civil War 3-pack, and what better action figure to kick off these reviews with than the one everybody is looking forward to out of this 3-pack, and that is the Marvel Cinematic Universe Spider-Man. And unlike the other two figures in this 3-pack, this Spider-Man is a completely new mold, so you have not seen this mold used for any Spider-Man figure before. It is all original. Uh, unlike the other two, which the Captain America and Iron Man are basically variants of the two from the Giant Man Build-A-Figure series. So, all new sculpt, and he's great. I love this Spider-Man. He comes with no accessories, but his overall appearance to how he is in the movie is phenomenal. So, let's get him up close here and give you a good detailed look at him from head to toe. And the sculpt is pretty spot on all around this action figure, except for the spider on the front. I don't know if it had something to do with making this figure before the final concept art was done for the movie. Or maybe they made some last minute changes, but that's the only piece of the sculpt that's not 100% accurate. Got the spider on the back. And let's get him up close here. Now, where the sculpting is about perfect, there are some glaring weaknesses in the paint job that we'll go over. And first off is in the eye. Uh, the white does not completely come down. However, besides that little minor paint defect, I really love the way these eyes came out. Because this is extra sculpted on uh, eyepieces. In the movie, of course, it had that mechanicalness to it where the, the uh, whites of the eyes would open and close. And you can see that in the sculpt, how they made the depth to it. Almost feels like the action figure could open and close its eyes. I really like how they sculpted all those lines in there. And the webbing is just great for the face. Overall, throughout the entire body, all this webbing is actually sculpted in there. However, doing that, they had to paint in between, and it kind of gives it an overall muddy look. Especially right here, as you can see on my neck. The neck on my Spider-Man is very muddy. You can see where that black is bled out in a lot of spots. So I really love that they sculpted all that line work in. I just wish they would have executed the black paint in between a little better. You can see it right here really bad, bleeding through. However, great attention to detail with um, different body parts with the webbing still connecting. If I tilt the head all the way back, you can see that all those lines match up. So that's just... A phenomenal undertaking with the sculpt here to make everything match up this way in different joints. Just a shame they didn't <laughs> they didn't paint it correctly. And it, because of all that bleeding, it really gives him an overall muddy kind of look, as you can see on the shoulder here, and even some pe uh, parts of that webbing where the black doesn't even look like it's in there. But once again, all the line work matches up from one body part to the next. As you can see on the uh, bicep and shoulders here. However, coming down the arm, you'll see that they did not paint the red line going through here. So, <laughs> I don't understand how they can get all this detail in there and then miss a fine point like that and it's like that on both sides so I take it all these figures are like that where they miss the red paint there which is really surprising because they even have it to where it connects on the elbow so I don't know how they miss that but I do like how the spider came out on the back I uh, 
like the spider on the front, but it's not 100% accurate to what it looked like in the movie. It was a little smaller. And once again, great line work matching up on the conjoining uh, parts here. But it gets a little muddy. Right on the chest, you can see all that bleeding. All that black where it shouldn't be. And if I tilt the uh, ab crunch back, you can actually see that they went further with the sculpt, which was great with those lines. And a lot of Marvel Legends, when you tilt the ab crunch back, there's no detail there. But they didn't skimp out with this Spidey, which will be nice and flipping poses and such. And great muscle work underneath the costume here. You can actually see a lot of definition. Even in the abs. Once again, great job matching up this line work. I really like it. And I really wish that this Spider-Man would have came with interchangeable hands because all you get is a closed fist for the left and a web slinger for the right. And the hands do look awful muddy with the way that black paint has gotten on the red. Not as bad on the fisted hand, but my web slinging hand looks horrible can even make out the definition of his butt crack <laughs> and not too much detail on the upper thighs but uh, down low on his legs we get that webbing effect again not as bad of bleeding down here at least on mine. Get the black uh, backside of his feet, just like in the movie. So, overall, great sculpt, but sloppy painting with the way that they colored those lines. Just really wish they would have gotten that right. But one spot that all Spider Man figures shine in Marvel Legends is the articulation. And once again, this Spider-Man figure does not disappoint. We get a lot of movement in this action figure. The head is on a ball joint and a hinge, so you can get full rotation. Not much tilt side to side, but he will look very far back and very far down. So great movement there. And I love this swivel on the actual shoulders, being able to bring his arms in and out. That's a great feature. And of course he still has that ball joint and hinge at the actual shoulder. Which will go that far up but it will take away from the lines being together. But that's no big deal. And you can get full rotation. He does have a bicep cut which you can get full rotation out of. And double hinged elbows that you can get really far up. And back straight. And of course on the wrist both wrists he will swivel and hinge that far up and that far back so about 90 degrees really good and the ab crunch will go really far forward and really far back so I love the movement there he does have a waist swivel however you're gonna get that weird look to it if you get it going to the side too much and of course, the line work will not match up there whenever you have it to one side or the other. Now, at the thighs, he will only kick that far out, which it would be nice to get a little more movement out of. But he does kick that far up and that far back. And you can actually swivel in and out a little bit. And he does have a cut up at the upper thigh. Will rotate all the way around. Double jointed knees on both knees, which will go really far back and back straight. No cut at the calf, but down at the feet, he does have the hinge, which will go that far back, that far forward, and do that complete pivot, which is much needed for a Spider Man toy. 
So, I really like this Spider-Man. Of course, I kept complaining about the paint, but that's justified. It looks pretty bad how it bled through. And uh, that's the only glaring weakness on this figure. Could have used some interchangeable hands, but all in all, I have to give a thumbs up and a high recommend for this Spider-Man action figure. Is it worth picking up the three-pack for him? Uh, that all depends on if you have already picked up the regular variants of Captain America and Iron Man in that Giant Man build figure series. I never f even have seen that series in stores so I had no problem picking these up and will probably totally bypass that series now except for Black Panther uh, that's probably the only one I'm gonna get out of there because I really like these battle damage versions of these two so coming up next I will review the Captain America so stay tuned for that everyone and I will catch you then